Hey guys, happy Saturday. How are you doing? Marissa Myers here, and I actually am on day 12 of my new workout program. I'm still going strong. I've been working out six days a week for 30 to 45 minutes, and today's workout let me move my, is called MMA Power. And I don't know if you've seen some of the workouts that I've done, but it's usually an MMA speed. It's six three-minute rounds. In MMA Shred, it's nine three-minute rounds. And in this workout, it's 12 three-minute rounds. This literally kicked my butt. Like, I'm ready to just lay down on the floor and be done. Um, I actually finished it already, and I'm going to show you round six of this program, or of this, of this. So this is just one of the three-minute rounds. Here I go. Here I go. Uppercut, cross, uppercut, step into your side kick, point your toe down, pushing through the hips, right? So, uppercut, cross, uppercut, rotate, think about it. Brace your core, leaning back, bring your knee in and out, and retract. Sweet, here we go. In three, two, let's work. Uppercut, cross, uppercut, side kick. Now, this is what's happening. We're starting to put bigger combinations together of punches and kicks. Why? Because we want to start to challenge your rotation. Now watch, speaking of rotation, this is what's going to happen. Vertical motion. Jericho drops her shoulder down. She comes right up underneath their opponent's jaw. When their head's up, she turns into the cross, right in the nose. Bam! And they're right back underneath the jaw, and then they're on the ground. They don't even know what just happened, because they got kicked in the head. So, rotation. That's what's happening. Core isolation. Remember we said 360 degree of core strain? Boom! That's what's doing it right now. You have 20 seconds. Keep thinking rotation. Front, back, front, boom. And kick, step back. Front, back, front. Are you turning your hips? Are you releasing your heels? Now, here we go. Jericho's favorite spike in the world is called a roll jump. Dominant stance. Eyes up. Roll underneath. Jump up. Alternate sides. In three, two, let's go, Jay. Roll underneath the jump. You already did the rolls. But now, you have to jump. So that means, is you roll, and then you jump. You gotta get low, well, and if you need the modification, just lift your heels off the ground. But keep rolling underneath, bend your legs. You got this. 10 seconds, you're going back to your combination. Uppercut, cross, uppercut, side kick. Five seconds, come on, quick, 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 quick. Three, two, one, reset, let's go. Uppercut, cross, uppercut, side kick, step back. Now check this out. You want to see some rotation and movement? Watch my boy Jasper. Watch this. Uppercut, cross, uppercut. Now, this is what you call control. You want to see real movement? Chill, Jasper. Go out, baby. Go. Boom, boom, boom. And back. Do it again. Look at the rotation. Full control. Don't be careful with the back of the head, but just control the movement. Uppercut, cross, uppercut. So you see, it is all torso rotation. That's where the power comes from. It's not just your arms. It's your full body. That's what's happening right now. That's what you're building right now. Core strength and stability. 20 seconds left. You got this. Boom. Side kick. And back. Now, when we go back to the roll jumps, here's what I want you to do. I want you to lower in the rolls, higher in the jumps. How's that sound, team? How's that sound at home? Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's roll underneath the jump. I want you to roll and get off the ground. Come on. You got 30 seconds of this. 30 seconds of a spike. What does a spike mean? Spike your heart rate, get off the ground. I want you to jump right under Sophie right now. Put your feet. I think she can go high. Look, whoop, off the ground. That's what you should be doing right now. Stay in your stance, get low, jump high. Keep going. You got nine seconds left. Can we finish this? Roll jump, roll jump, roll jump. Get up to my level, girl, come on. Three, can you handle it? Oh man. Hey guys. Hey Karen. Holy crap. Holy crap. Let me catch my breath really quick. Mm. Ooh. Hold on. Hold your horses. There we go. Got my uh, video down. And 
Okay, so just FYI, shoot, hold on. So on day, I don't know, I'm on day 12. So this is probably, I would say, one of the, for me, has been one of the most challenging workouts in this program. So there's MMA speed, which is six three minute rounds. There's MMA shred, which is nine three minute rounds. And this is called MMA power, and it's 12 three minute rounds. So if you think you're dead after MMA speed and MMA shred, wait until you get to MMA power. The first time you do it is on day 12. So you do build up some endurance and some strength before you actually do it. But there you go, there you have it. I already did my full workout and I just showed you that three minute round just so you could see a little glimpse into what you're in for. So thank you guys for following me along on this journey because it's super fun to track my progress and to stay accountable by giving you guys daily videos. So thanks a lot and I hope you guys kick this workout in the pants. Boom. See you guys later.